Luna and Meg. The Echoes of the Ocean. Echo, echo. In the deep, shimmering waters of the ancient ocean, where colorful corals painted the seabed and sunlight danced through the waves, lived Luna, a playful dolphin, and her friend Meg, a wise old megalodon. Did you know? Megalodon has a significant cultural impact and is a popular subject in literature, film, and documentaries. It often features in discussions about the largest and most terrifying creatures that have ever lived. That's a popular fact, but let's get back to Luna and Meg. One day, while swimming through a maze of underwater caverns, swish, 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 Luna chirped and clicked, her sounds bouncing off the walls and guiding her path. Meg, observing Luna's effortless navigation, grew curious. Luna, Meg rumbled, thoughtfully. How do you find your way in these twisting caverns so easily? Luna smiled, sending a series of quick clicks through the water. Click, 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 click. It's called echolocation, Meg. I send out sounds that hit objects and bounce back to me. From these echoes, I can tell where things are, even if I can't see them. Intrigued, Meg wondered if she could learn the skill. Could you teach me to echolocate? She asked, her massive eyes bright with curiosity. Luna giggled, <laughs> a bubbly sound that filled the ocean. Well, Meg, Echolocation is something that dolphins and some other creatures can do because of our special anatomy. But I could certainly teach you how it works and how we use it to communicate. Together, Luna and Meg set up experiments with different objects in the ocean. Luna would demonstrate by sending out high-pitched clicks. Click, 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 click. Click, and listening carefully to the returning echoes. Click, click, click. See, Meg? Each object gives back a different sound. It's how I know if there's food nearby, or a friend, or even a shipwreck, Luna explained as she deftly maneuvered around a sunken pirate ship. Her clicks echoing melodiously. Meg tried to mimic Luna, but her sounds were too deep and dispersed dif differently. Click, 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 click. I guess my voice is just too big for delicate echoes. Meg's head with a chuckle. Not to be deterred, Luna had another idea. You might not echolocate, Meg, but you do communicate in your own incredible way. Remember how you talk to other megalodons over long distances using low-frequency sounds? Yes, those are infrasound communications. They travel far through the water, Meg replied. Now. Understanding that every sea creature had its unique way of seeing and speaking in the ocean. Did you know? Just like Meg and Finn, Megalodon is often compared to the modern great white shark, but it was far more robust. Studies of its vertebrae showed that Megalodon was much more massive in build than any living shark. Ting. Let's swim on back to our story. Inspired 
by their day of learning, Luna and Meg decided to share their knowledge with other sea creatures. They organized a gathering where Luna explained echolocation and Meg taught about infrasound. The ocean buzzed with excitement as creatures from the tiny clownfish to the sleek black tip sharks learned about the wonders of marine communication. Each took turns trying to understand the other's methods, creating a symphony of sounds beneath the waves. Well, that concludes our story. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.